Liches may well be the most intriguing form of undead. The concept of the undead lich is a staple in fantasy literature, role-playing games, and mythology. It's a piece of the Lich King's heart, and its power can only be used by a necromancer. A lich is typically portrayed as a powerful sorcerer or necromancer who has achieved immortality through the use of dark magic. The term lich comes from the Old English word lek, meaning corpse. The modern concept of a lich as a reanimated sentient undead being is largely a creation of fantasy fiction, particularly in the 20th century with the most notable early example from Dungeons & Dragons, D&D, where liches are a common type of monster. A lich's primary characteristic is its immortality. It's the obsidian heart of the lich king, broken into four pieces. By performing a ritual involving the creation of a phylactery, an object that houses their soul, the lich can prevent itself from dying permanently. If their physical form is destroyed, they can regenerate from the phylactery. Leeches are typically depicted as possessing immense magical abilities, often surpassing those of living wizards. Their mastery of necromancy allows them to control undead minions and perform dark rituals. Leeches are usually depicted as skeletal or mummified figures. Their flesh has long decayed. It was to remain sealed inside his sarcophagus. The undead for all of eternity. Despite their ghastly appearance, they retain their intellect and personality. The phylactery is a critical aspect of a lich's immortality. It is usually a small, enchanted object that contains the lich's soul. Destroying a lich without simultaneously destroying its phylactery means the lich can eventually return. The process of creating a phylactery is often shrouded in dark rituals and forbidden knowledge, making it a significant plot point in many stories. Uniting it, he would become the lich. In Dungeons & Dragons, leeches are often formidable adversaries serving as major villains in campaigns. They possess vast knowledge and often have intricate plans spanning centuries. Liches appear in various fantasy novels and stories. For example, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series features horcruxes which are similar to phylacteries, although the term lich is not used. Liches are common in many fantasy-themed video games, often serving as bosses or powerful enemies. Games like World of Warcraft, The Elder Scrolls, and Diablo feature liches prominently. There are several notable examples of leeches from popular fantasy franchises that illustrate their unique characteristics. Here are a few prominent ones. Vecna is perhaps one of the most iconic leeches in fantasy lore, originating from the Dungeons & Dragons universe. He was a powerful wizard who became a lich to gain immortality. Vecna's quest for power and knowledge eventually led him to become a god. His severed hand and eye, known as the Hand of Vecna and the Eye of Vecna, are infamous artifacts within the game. Vecna's story exemplifies the Lich's pursuit of eternal life and immense magical power, as well as the dark consequences of such ambitions. Kel'Thuzad is a major antagonist in World of Warcraft. He was formerly a potent human mage who fell prey to the Lich King's promises of immortality and great power. Kel'Thuzad became a Lich and one of the Lich King's most loyal servants. He is known for his role in spreading the undead scourge across Azeroth. Kel'Thuzad's transformation into a Lich highlights the typical narrative of a powerful mage turning to necromancy and dark rituals to achieve immortality. Asererak is another famous lich from the Dungeons & Dragons universe, known for creating the deadly dungeon, the Tomb of Horrors. He is a powerful and ancient lich who has transcended death through his mastery of necromancy. Asererak's cunning and traps within his tomb illustrate the lich's intelligence and the lengths to which they go to protect their secrets and phylacteries. In the Warhammer fantasy setting, Nagash is the most powerful necromancer and the creator of necromancy itself. He became a lich through his mastery of dark magic and aims to dominate the world with his undead armies. Nagash's story is a classic example of the lich archetype, where a powerful sorcerer seeks to conquer death and gain ultimate power, often at the cost of their humanity. While not a lich in the traditional sense, the Lich King from the Warcraft universe shares many characteristics with liches. The Lich King is a fusion of the orc shaman Nerjul and the human paladin Arthas Menethil, who wields the power of necromancy to control vast armies of undead. The Lich King's narrative explores themes of corruption, the pursuit of power, and the loss of humanity, which are central to the concept of the Lich. Although not a Lich by strict definition, Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe franchise exhibits many Lich-like qualities. I am Skeletor! He is a powerful sorcerer with a skeletal appearance who seeks to conquer the land of Eternia. Skeletor's background as a dark sorcerer seeking ultimate power aligns with the archetypal Lich's characteristics. 
Leeches often symbolize the perversion of natural life and death cycles. They represent the consequences of greed, hubris, and the desire for power at any cost. The transformation into a lich is usually depicted as a tragic fall from grace, where the desire to escape death leads to a cursed existence. Leeches differ from other types of undead creatures in several significant ways, particularly in terms of their origins, abilities, and roles within fantasy lore. Typically, a lich is a powerful sorcerer or necromancer who voluntarily undergoes a dark and complex ritual to attain immortality. This process often involves creating a phylactery, an object that houses their soul, ensuring they can regenerate if their physical form is destroyed. Many other undead creatures, such as zombies or skeletons, are usually created through necromantic magic or curses without their consent. They are often reanimated corpses with little to no autonomy or intelligence. Leeches retain their full intelligence, personality, and magical abilities. They often have centuries of knowledge and experience, making them formidable and cunning adversaries. Many undead creatures like zombies, ghouls, and skeletons typically lack independent thought and are frequently under the control of a necromancer or bound to obey straightforward pre-programmed commands. However, there are exceptions like vampires and certain types of ghosts, which can have intelligence and autonomy similar to leeches. Known for their immense magical prowess, leeches often specialize in necromancy but can wield a wide array of magical spells. Their magic is usually more advanced and powerful compared to other undead. While some undead creatures may have magical abilities, e.g. whites or specters, their powers are generally more limited in scope and strength compared to those of a lich. A lich's immortality is tied to their phylactery. As long as the phylactery remains intact, the lich cannot be permanently destroyed. This makes them particularly difficult to defeat. Most other undead do not have such a safeguard. Once they are destroyed, they typically do not come back unless reanimated again through necromantic means. Liches typically appear as skeletal or mummified humanoids, retaining a semblance of their former selves but with a visibly undead and decayed form. A sorcerer who can summon the dead. Other undead can vary widely in appearance, from the rotting, flesh-hungry zombies to the ghostly, ethereal forms of spirits. Each type of undead has its own distinct physical characteristics that often define its abilities and weaknesses. Liches stand out among the undead for their voluntary transformation, retained intelligence and autonomy, powerful magical abilities, and the unique mechanism of their phylactery that grants them near immortality. These traits make them some of the most formidable and enduring adversaries in fantasy lore. The Undead Lich is a compelling and versatile figure in fantasy lore, combining elements of horror, magic, and tragedy. Its persistence as a popular archetype speaks to deep-seated human fears and fascinations with death, immortality, and the corrupting influence of power. Whether as a villain in an epic tale or a challenging adversary in a game, the Lich continues to captivate and terrify audiences.